Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the establishment is back again. My name is Sticks, and to my right, the one and only returning Stephen Platinum is here. And you know who else is here, Sticks? It looks like every damn body is here. That's what it looks like. We got ourselves a battle royal. The guy in the vest with the mullet, that's Jules Bradley, the shiny one, the patriarch of the trailer park, the Duke of the Double Wide. Now, if you can't tell, he's my actual client, so I might be a little biased in this here battle royal. Nevertheless, this is the establishment. Glory days of future past. We are here in Orlando, Florida, and it's going to be one hell of a show here tonight. You know, normally a battle royal, kind of a, let's be honest, a boring interlude in a show. But here, you can see the excitement from everybody. Because at the establishment, you can make things happen for yourself. Wins matter. And winning is something like this, that's a good way to get in. Absolutely. Winners get jobs. Losers get fired. What is this? This is in the building, the money man, fresh off a world tour, NWA, MLW, TNA, you name it, he's been there and he's here in the establishment tonight. The mood shifted in the ring, as if he was going to compete, they looked a little intimidated. Now he said let the best man win sticks your estimation who's the odds on favorite in this match oh for me it's Jules Bradley I mean now mind you we ride up and down the road together so I know how talented he is but then you've got a whole ring full of guys you got Asriel Rowe the smallest man in professional wrestling but the toughest guy possibly on the scene today you got oh way foreign objects you got one half of Better Together in there. You got a ring full of talented guys. Last man standing gets a job. Runner up gets a job. This is good stuff. Oh my gosh, he's out. All he's ready? Out here we go. You gotta look out for Azrael Rowe here. Little man in a big ring full of big guys. Oh, hits him with a stutter! A wheelbarrow stutter! A wheelbarrow no stutter. He's gotten rid of somebody already. Another stutter! Oh my god! He's just stunning people over the top rope! The big boy Pat is gone. You got Jules Bradley working over in the corner. All this talent trying to make their name in the establishment. Glory days of future past. We are here. We are live. The claw. The claw in the middle of the ring. Stan Hansen is in the building. A return claw. Oh no. 
Another elimination. He gets himself a front row seat. And the more people that get thrown out, the more intense the action gets on the inside because it becomes very real. You don't have to win this thing. You can just come in second. So right now, they got to like their odds, everybody in there. You know who I like? Your man, Jules. Yeah, Jules is making a name for himself. Now, he's been up and down the road. We just got back from Philadelphia. We worked some shows WrestleMania week, and now he's in the Battle Royal fighting for a job. Might get himself one. Still got Azrael rolled down in the corner. You got the king working over the little man. Oh, nice back elbow there. Everybody's fighting. The cool thing about a battle royal, especially when we get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, big clothesline there. It gives you more space to do more damage. Now, the hard part, oh, look at. But again, both feet have to touch. He's being very smart right now. He's yeah. looking around. He's asking for help, and he's getting Oh, it. look at the chair. He's using the chair and the stairs. Still foot on the ring. Very smart. What a creative way to save your day. Walking on the first row now. Can he make the jump? Hit that A button twice, my guy. Double tap that A button. Oh. Getting some help from the front row. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This can't be legal. What the hell? What the hell? I would have guessed that those two fans, the only help that they could give was at a pie eating contest. Absolutely. But they came through in a big wow. way. Wow. Wow. Rocky Jules Five, for baby. The elimination. I love it. Jules, again, so smart, just worked on the same guy. And now, one toss out away from a job, two for the victim. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. He cheated. Has he thrown every single person out of this battle royal? He has thrown everybody out. This is crazy. Here we go. Two men left. One man leaves a winner. The other one a runner up. Both men leave with jobs. Or he whips them in. Out of those two jobs, though, you want that final four. Oh, of even over the lethal lottery, yeah, of course. Yeah, the final four gives you a shot at the championship. Oh, Ori with a stiff kick to the chest. Ori now. Oh! That is a clothesline, my friend. I was going to call it a short clothesline, but I don't want to get canceled. I think it's okay as long as you don't call it a midget clothesline. There we go. <laughs> nice whip, nice reversal there. Ori on the ropes. Goes for the toss. Second rope. And see, that's the right idea. You're trying to throw people out. Sometimes guys get lost in doing damage, doing moves, but it's about getting them over that top rope and their feet on that floor. Very simple psychology when it comes to a battle royal. Toss the guy out. Row now. Tilt the world. Head scissors. Neither one of these guys giving an inch here. Don't touch the hat. <laughs> Listen, sometimes if you just tell them what to do, they'll do it. As he on the apron. Ori doing all he can to eliminate the biggest little man in wrestling. Pulling the hair, I love it. Yes. Smart, oh. smart. Hang up. <laughs> Just barely. Surviving, now that's twice he survived oh, what I thought was an elimination. Oh, no. him in the knee. All the chips on the table. Oh, or he's out. Ezreal wins. Wow. Nearly every elimination 
in this battle royal, and he walks away the winner, the Iron Man of the establishment, Asriel Rowe. You cannot underestimate. Oh, oh no. Wait a second. Oh no. Now, I did say that I was the host of the 24th Eric Battle Royal. But I never said that the host couldn't be the match. In fact, not only am I in the match, but Lady and T, Lady and Jason, are also in the match. Wait a second here. Wait a second here. When you were in the match, right now, yeah. and I was in the match, right now, yeah. and I was in the match, right now, yeah. Please make sure they spell Azrael correctly on the tombstone. The obituary is coming. Oh, Jake St. Patrick. Here comes Ray Zeon. Oh, and AJ Francis. This is a mugging. We this saw we saw Azrael pull off a miracle, but I don't think he's going to get that second miracle to become a saint. He's, but he is going to get martyred right here. He's going to need a miracle to stay alive. You got that right. Money ENT just beating down the little man. This is bullying at its finest in a wrestling ring. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god! Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. That man is dead. <laughs> oh my god! That man is dead. No. No. Money ENT just beating up Asriel Rowe. I've never seen a, a choke slam like that. Oh no. Come on. Sticks. End the assault. Sticks. End the assault. Steven, you gotta get in there, man. Step in and get in there. I, oh oh my gosh. What are I can't even look I can't look, Sticks, I can't. This is unfair. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He just he the, just the eliminated crowd, Crazy Young! The crowd senses the change! They sense the momentum is changing! <laughs> He's smartly looking back. Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? AJ's smart though. He's not falling for this. He's not going to let momentum get used against him. If he beats this big man, this has got to be the biggest upset I've ever seen. <laughs> this is David Goliath in real life here. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, it's a choke Oh! He's gonna Princess Bride him! Oh! No, he's not. Never no, mind. he's not. He said he bit me. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Azrael gets a kick to the face and catches the middle rope as a rebound. As he's still fighting. It's why you gotta fight. It's why you gotta fight. Still, are you kidding me? No, no, are you no, kidding no, me? Yes. Are you yes, kidding yes, me? Yes. Are you yes, kidding yes, me? Yes. Are you yes, kidding yes, me? Yes. Money ENT with the save. The claw. He got him with the claw. My God, he got him in the claw. This is the, the establishment, folks. No way! Oh, he caught him! What the hell? Where is this going? This is the craziest game of chicken I've ever seen. Oh! oh. oh my god! Franchise AJ Francis comes in to host and walks away with a shot at a championship. Wow! Talk about picking your spots. Well, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it at the establishment. What we do here is winners get jobs, losers go home. But even Asriel Rowe gets a spot in the Lethal Lottery in May. 
AJ now gets a shot at the title of Fatal 4-Way back in, Ju in June. You're going to think I'm crazy for saying this. I think Asriel and AJ both have a chance at winning those respective matches. Yeah. Asriel really showed me something. This is incredible. Asriel eliminated everybody but AJ Francis. Everybody. He wow. Got, he got up from the highest, most vicious choke slam I've ever seen. He eliminated everybody in the battle royal. He eliminated the two henchmen, and he came this close to eliminating AJ. Truly an amazing performance, but AJ is your winner. Well, they don't call him the franchise for nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the establishment, glory days of future past. Dude, and we're just getting started. There's more to come. Stick around. on his way to the ring. What an attitude change for this young man in the last six months. He went away for a while. He went up north, did his thing for a few years. Now he's back on the scene. He's angry. He's got a point to prove. And he's got a shot at the lethal lottery if he wins this match. something to prove and Mikey Spandex is a very angry man it was something to prove this is gonna be a great match referee Lee Hanfield already has his hands full with this one it feels like there's a little personal animosity already these going guys on. do not like each other I promise you you should have heard him in the back talking trash they had to be separated Here we go. Lethal Lottery Tech partner availability on the line. He did, he lost, he's been working hard. He's been hitting the cardio. Ron Bass Jr. Mikey Spandex, nice collar elbow type, son of the ring, shove off. Mikey's a strong kid, but I don't know if he's that strong. Ron Bass Jr. may not look like an athlete, but he is. And oh, he, he knows how to use that size. And just like his daddy, he knows how to hurt you. Yeah, and he knows how to hurt you. He learned from the best. Oh, no. Just tossing him like a small child. There's that strength, that big man's size. And, and Ron Bass Jr. is so smart because all of Mikey Spandex is... Everything about him is about his confidence. And if you can take that away even a little bit, that's the kind of advantage that you need. Because I don't know anybody who's going to bet against Mikey Spandex in any kind of match. Well, absolutely. But uh, psychology is all, it's 80% psychology wrestling. And if you can win that 80% before you even tie up, then the match is won. See, Mikey's walking away. But again, psychology on Mikey's part, making Ron wait. Although I don't know if I'd give Ron Bass Jr. time to catch his breath. 
if I'm Mikey, I'm using my speed, I'm using my agility, I'm keeping Ron on his toes. But there's that there's that attitude of Mikey Spandex, that sense of entitlement that comes with a guy who looks like that. Little known fact, um, me and my partner Larry Goodman with our podcast are the last people to interview Ron Bass. So this match is particular uh, interest for me, um, watching his kid work here against Mikey Spandex. Wow. Nice little tidbit. I like it. Oh! It's hard to call Ron Bass Jr. a junior because there's nothing junior about him. But uh, you see the boots. Oh! Mikey might have lost some teeth there. That might be the hardest hit we've seen so far tonight. Lee Canfield trying to get some control here. Mikey playing the run around. Hit it with the Blues Traveler, trips over the steps. Misses with the elbow, tried to cut him off. But Ron Bass Jr. with the size. More than the fact that he has gotten no offense, Mikey is wrestling at Ron Bass Jr.'s pace. And that is no way to go about this match. With a guy like Ron Bass Jr., you gotta keep him on his toes, you gotta keep him moving. And if you let him build up steam like this, oh. He's gonna do what he's doing right there. Tearing you apart piece by piece. Two count there. Mikey's learning the hard way. Everything hurts. Ron Bass Jr. doing what he wants. Oh! Nice slingshot there. Top rope. Taking out the legs of the big man. Here we go, Mikey now. One thing I'll say for Mikey, and I've known Mikey a long time. He is very smart all the time. He's very calculated, even with this new attitude. Oh! He has found a spot, he has picked the weakness, and now he's going to pick it apart. We saw a bit of a change in him two shows ago with the establishment. And ever since then, you add the athleticism and the ring IQ with a vicious streak. And I don't know if he can be stopped. I'm just being honest here. Well, he's. we all know the CrossFit strength of Mikey Spandex. He's one of the strongest men in wrestling today. Anywhere. I'm talking about, oh no, with that floating knee breaker and you throw in the IQ and you you got a very dangerous man with a point to prove and he's been doing it here at the establishment now for three shows in a row as Ron Bass Jr. trying to figure out a way to stand back up and all of a sudden every strength of Ron Bass Jr. is completely negated and it's working against him he's having to move his own body weight around well there it is the proverbial one le one legged man in an ass kicking contest as Ron Bass throwing those overhead chops, trying to build some momentum, trying to create some steam. You can see the redness on the thigh, on the on the rear hamstring area of Ron Bass Jr. You can see it as Mikey now looks like he's going for a single leg Boston Crab. If he can float him over, he'll do it. There it is, the one-legged Boston Crab. There it is. Floats him over. Ron Bass catches the rope, though. <laughs> Mikey now with the clubby blows to the back, trying to keep the big redwood down. Ron Bass not having it, though. Oh, short DDT. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, that sharp soccer-like kick to the inside of the thigh to set up that DDT. Again, Mikey, so ruthless, so smart. Knows what he's doing, knows where he is at all times in that ring. Oh, here we go. He's going for the Spandex Falls. Oh, he gets caught with a clothesline! 
Here we go, both men down the center of the ring, first man up with the advantage. Ron Bass trying to work out that stinger on the back of his leg. Mikey trying to remember his name. I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in. The Establishment here on YouTube. Follow us on all social media platforms. The Establishment Wrestling is everywhere, all the time, and you want to be too. Mikey gets caught with the forearms. The axe handle chop down. Ron with the headbutt. Here we go. Trying to shake off that pain. Trying to walk it off in a very literal sense. Mikey off the ropes. Kicks out of the black hole slam. I think Ron's in real pain here. I think you can see it on his face. He's trying to will his leg to work. Sometimes you can't do things like that. And right now, if he can't stand, he can't fight. Well, that's if anybody great knows, Terry Silver said in Karate Kid 3. Absolutely, that's been one of my favorite lines forever. But if anybody knows about willing your legs to work, it would be me. Trust me, Ronnie. It's a little harder than it looks, my guy. The fight back between both guys, forearms being exchanged by both men. Nope, Mikey, you're going to have to do a little better than that. Headbutt from Mikey Spandex. Both men on Dream Street now. Holding on to stay on his feet. Oh, no, no way. No way. Oh, look at that strike. Oh, man. Kick from Mikey Spandex now. Nice super kick right to the back of the chin. The Falcon Punch. Oh no! He tried, but it gave way! But maybe put him down enough. Second rope. Oh, short splash. Both men down. This has been a great match. Both been trying to earn a spot here to pick their tag partners in the lethal lottery. Mikey gets caught with that choke slam. Ron now, he knows it's now or never for him. Off comes the pad. Here comes the lariat. Oh, what basement drop kick right to that bad knee. Hits him with the spandex falls. There it is. Cover. Mikey spandex with the win. Spandex falls. Off the second rope. So Mikey Spandex moves on to the Lethal Lottery and gets to pick his tag team partner. Everything we do in the establishment advances or decreases your career depending on the way you move inside that ring. And Mikey Spandex is on a roll. Ladies and gentlemen, this is glory days of future past. We will be right back.
Sky taking on Devlin Macabre. For those that have not seen her before, you may look at this whole presentation and think, oh, just another soft girl getting by. You could not be more wrong. This girl knows how to hit, and she likes to do it. That fitness center was never the same after that match. Oh, my God. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, go back in the history of the establishment and watch that three-way dance that Devlin herself and Kelsey Reagan had. That was an absolute, actually, I'm sorry, that was Savannah Thorne in that match. Absolute banger of a three-way. She's got the mic. Sorry, I, don't, I don't mean to bring up a, a bitter subject or anything, but um, a divorce going to. Um, how do It seems like tag team partner Scotty turning on you at the last show. Not only was Scotty my tag team partner, she was also my best friend. I know. But when she turned her back on me, she turned her back on Shake and Bake. Sky, one half of Shake and Bake, is now Madison Blake. New name, new attitude. Let's see if she can get a win here against Devlin Macabre, one half of Venom and Violence. Kelsey Reagan not here to my, tonight, to my chagrin, because who doesn't love Kelsey Reagan? But Devlin Macabre. Deadly in her own right against the newly minted Madison Blake. Devlin, of course, very familiar with Sky slash Madison. If she wants to establish herself as Madison, she needs to get this win tonight. It's called making your name happen for a reason. This is their chance. Okay. Wow. I see what you did there. Very clever. I really do love a good Lifetime movie story where someone just into somebody else so magically and, you know they just have a cute little heartwarming story that just really touches on our hearts for you doesn't it yeah yeah it's like a soap opera but i'm not here for a soap opera i'm not here for your little sympathy stories maybe if you weren't too trusting you wouldn't have got stabbed in the back Good fight. Madison Blake, Devlin Macabre, lethal lottery spot on the line here. There's the bell. Devlin, checking those knee pads. Got to do it. Got to make sure your equipment's good. A little outside fights here. Right in front of that front row. Oh. I don't know if they asked that fan's consent. I think that's okay. Madison Blick now chopping Devlin Macabre. Ladies and gentlemen, glory days of future past here for you. The establishment doing what we do. My name is Sticks. That is Stephen Platinum to my right. 
front face lock here. Nice suplex. Madison is dominating this match so far. Early, early domination by the newly minted Madison Blake. Off the ropes. Nice double knees. Meteor with the cover. Devlin trying to figure out where she is. Uncharacteristic of the Devlin Macabre we've seen in the past. Devlin very upset about being a uh, hair pulled. Madison very upset about being hung up on that second rope. Off the ropes! Double knees to the back with the rope in the throat cover. You know, they said in any given Sunday, we fight for that inch. And Devlin fights for every inch, even the intimidation of the referee. She's just trying to do little things to turn things into her favor very later on girl. in the match. Yeah, absolutely. Very smart girl. She's very violent, but very calculated. You think she's you think she's crazy, you think she's unpredictable, but really, she knows what she's doing. Especially with that hip attack. Devlin off the ropes again. A knee to follow up the assault. That's how you get concussions, ladies and gentlemen. She does do whatever she wants with the cover. And a kick out by Madison. Both these girls fighting for inches inside that ring. Nice forearm shot right to the chest. Madison so showing some strength there, just muscled her up on the turnbuckle. Whatever plan she's got in mind, she's determined to make it happen. We'll see if it pays off. Let's see, but both in a high rent, high risk situation. Somebody's gonna get hurt here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Superplex. Both girls hurt though. Did you see her bounce off that canvas? Devlin, we said someone was going to get hurt. The answer might be both of them did, but that Devlin was, certainly worse for wear. A car crash on I-4 if I've ever seen it. The bounce does not mean it's a trampoline, ladies and gentlemen. That ring is hard and uncomfortable, and when you come down from that high, it's going to hurt. Oh, nice, Madison building up ahead of steam. Two clotheslines in a row. Speed kills, and Madison's got all the speed right now. There we go. Running knee, Devlin in the corner. Hip attack of a own, rolls through. Devlin went for a clothesline, missed it. Got caught. Nice belly to back, suplex cover. All oh, right into a hole. I love it. I love how she transitioned there. Smooth. Oh, she got caught, shoulders down. The experience of Devlin Macabre there to use her body weight and momentum to roll into a cover. Nice reversal. Gonna help this audience remember their numbers. But this ain't Sesame Street, this is professional wrestling. Devlin now hooks her up. Vicious throwdown. And a kick out by Madison. Wow. Madison Blake finding a way to kick out. And now Devlin's kicking a tantrum. Devlin is trying to win this match. But I got to say this. Whenever these two are in the same ring together, it is magic. And we're having more magic tonight. This is the second time in a row they have beaten the holy hell out of each other. And I can say that because it's factual. 
If you don't believe me, go back to our YouTube channel, which you are watching right now, and see it for yourself. These girls don't like each other, but they both like winning, so we'll see what happens here. Devlin, shoulder, oh, throat, and a kick! And a cutter! Oh my God, did you see the way her head bounced off that canvas? Cover! Oh. A little bit of a lazy cover by Devlin. Just a little bit. She thought she had the win. Sky was tough. Madison is even tougher. Yeah, Madison has found a new level. That is Lee Canfield. That is the best referee in the business. Devlin is wasting her time here a little She's bit. She's going to get caught. She's going to get caught. Another back. nice transition. Oh, beautiful, beautiful move there. Devlin's got nowhere to go. Her spacing is perfect. Oh, there it is! Oh, my God, it sticks! <laughs> wow! Newly minted Madison Blake starting off with momentum. Finds herself with a win and a spot in the lethal lottery. Devlin Macabre tapping out, which I thought I would never see. Madison Blake gets the win. Devlin falling back into the ring after her shame. Oh, gets caught with the mist! The black mist! That's poison to your eyes. The crowd That's is hushed. This is, oh, it's horrible. This is horrible. It's the second time she's gotten hit with that mist. I don't know how many times you can get hit before you go blind. Devlin did what she came to do. No. my brother that is not anger that is rage that is rage that is true she did tap and you still are the winner of this match so that being said who's your tag partner going to be Can I be friends with Mercedes Martinez too?
Brothers supposed to be here for a special attraction match against Rich Port. Sounds like gunshots going off all over this arena right now. This is just a straight fight. Kentish Brothers world traveled in their own right. But so are Rich Port and Gus De La Vega. Oh my God. This is gonna be one hell of a tag match if we can ever get it under control. There we go, it looks like De La Vega. And now some would say the referee shouldn't do that. I disagree, I think you gotta start this match any which way you can. Absolutely, after chaos like that. Gus De La Vega just in firm control here. Rich Port on the other side. Both the Ken Kentish brothers in, in real and serious, never mind. Malfunction at the junction, both get caught with super kicks. The Kentish brothers not having it. Oh, the Kentish brothers holding the high ground. That sounded like a car getting thrown off the top of a building <laughs> when those guys hit the ground. That's what it was, up and over! Stereo cross bodies. At the establishment, the first row seat is subsequently the best and worst seat in the house at different times of the night. Sea World, they call it the splash zone. At the establishment, we call it high risk. It's one thing about the establishment when you come. Oh! No seat is a cheap seat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Gorgeous. Absolutely Standing gorgeous. Assistant moonsault cover. De La Vega with the kick out. People may not like the tactic, but I think jumping the brothers early was smart because we see what happens when they get on the same page. Oh, absolutely. Together. They're dangerous. They're deadly. They're well coordinated. They're brothers for crying out loud. Vega smart with the assist from Rich Port on the outside. Oh! Oh, holding a pound of Aunt Betty's nut butter. And he is on the ground and hurting. What did you say? Little Giants, yo. <laughs> And except for that small flurry of offense, it has been all, all no. Oh my God. Gorgeous. Oh my God. This part with the cover and a kick out. Kentish Brothers in some serious trouble since before this match even officially started. I'll say this, in the matches we've seen so far, it felt like at first, a lot of the people were playing not to lose. In this match, both of these teams are just going for the win, going for the win. Yeah, I think a lot of times, well, uh, Rich Port just throwing hands with one half of the Kentish brothers. A lot of times in wrestling, guys want to play defense because they're, they're a little timid, they're a little unsure, but in a yes. situation with the establishment, especially when in the establishment, if you win, you get a job. If you lose, you might go home. I think offense might be the best strategy. You know, a lot of these guys, they, the, the establishment's very new, and they're doing things their own way, and I absolutely love it, and these fans absolutely love it, but I think it takes a different mentality, and I'm all for it. Then you find out who can really wrestle. Well, and one of the things about doing things differently as a company, it forces your talent to get out of the comfort zone of all things quote unquote professional wrestling and do things differently for themselves, which then in turn widens your perspective as a talent with this new company. So you're seeing different strategies take effect as Rich Port makes the cover. Everybody wants to be successful, but sometimes you gotta figure out a different way to be successful because the old ways are not always the best ways. Port now in firm control, the big man just clubbing blows to the back of the neck. Oh 
Oh my god, that elbow turned him inside out. YTS in firm control. These two tag teams don't like each other. Richport. And De La Vega, of course, former students of the late, great Francisco Chiazzo. You see them on Proving Ground. You've seen them at FIP. They are all over the place. Some of the final students of the shot collar. Oh, cover, sunset flip. Perfectly executed sunset flip, by the way. Oh, beautiful belly back suplex and a cover. The height on that belly to back suplex. Some guys just pick you up and let gravity do the work, and some guys look like they're trying to snap you in half. That was definitely one of the latter varieties. Definitely, let me hurt you. Another one. Oh no. Something I love that Port does is he's constantly shifting him 20 degrees this way, 30 degrees this way, never letting another tag wrestler feel comfortable of where their corner is. It's a very smart and subtle thing to do that not a lot of guys do. To disorient your opponent so he's not really have that ring awareness so he can't make the tag when he needs to. Port now just grabbing the foot, real simple. Trying to create that separation. A thudding blow to the ear. Nice, fresh tag. Kentis Brothers in control now. How smart was De La Vega to take that referee? How smart was his stick? De La Vega cuts off the view of the referee. If the referee doesn't see it, it didn't happen. Kentis Brothers in trouble. The old tricks are the best trick sticks. And I was saying the other day, a lot of tag teams don't utilize that stuff. They certainly did to great effect. Well, you see, and again, we go back to their trainer, Francisco Chiazzo, trained in the old school ways, passing that down to his former students. Oh, nice. Rake in the face with the top rope. There you go. You see some of those old school tactics. Oh, smart lands on his feet, kick. Oh, Port catches the turnbuckle, fresh man in for the Kentish brothers. Oh, back elbow, nice close line. Ducks the third, gets caught with a kick. Wow, he got that foot up high. De La Vega counting his teeth and the stars right now. Second rope, sent on leg drop. Wow. He went higher up the second rope than most guys do up the top. Beautiful move. Again with the second rope. Calling his shot. De La Vega gets caught with a drop kick. Cover. Port breaks it up. Oh, it's the brother's chance right here, right here. Brothers in control. That's why I love tag team wrestling. The double team. And the Kentish brothers with the win in this attraction match. Aiden and Hayden. Pulling out the win here, the Kentish brothers showing up to the establishment to establish a victory. It shows how fast things can move in tag team wrestling. Normally, I don't think he would have got pinned, except for the fact that they perfectly executed that quick strike, dropped him down, got the win, got out. That's the name of the game. That's how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is day glory days of future past. We are the establishment. I am Sticks. He is Platinum Man. We will be right back.
people them a ball, said them tired of music. This is the match that I came to see, Sticks. This is the reason I'm here right now, right now. This is the match we all came to see. The Captain Aaron Nova with the boys in tow. He brought his own alien. Is that legal? Is that a legal alien? Is that an illegal alien or a legal one? I don't know what we're doing. I believe you're supposed to say undocumented. Okay, apologize. <laughs> it is 2024. We have to be careful with the verbiage. He definitely looks undocumented, though. You can I talk about closing borders. They need to close this atmosphere because only in the establishment are you going to see a bona fide alien. This is nuts. Loser leaves town. Aaron Nova versus DMC. Oh, they love him. We know they love how Nova. Can, how can you not love Aaron Nova? One of my commentary partners all over the scene here in Florida. He's absolutely great. Look at the cake. Look at the cake. But if he loses, how many hearts are going to break? Well, More than I've ever seen in an establishment show. Aside from yours and mine, As we await the arrival of the one and only DMC. DMC was going to be here. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! From behind! A chair shot to the alien! Oh, that's a hate crime to be sure! Oh no! Oh my god! This match is not even Oh started. my god! This can't be! Not like this! TMC! This match is in... There's no way this can continue. This he knew he had to do something to remove the momentum. He's done that. He had to do something to take the crowd out of it. He's done that. He even took that alien out. That poor alien. He's going to fly home all sore. DMC with a steel chair. Lee, get the chair out of his hand, will you please? I understand they're trying to help, but they might be doing more harm than good because they're distracting the referee. Well, there's the pride of Aaron Nova sending his boys to the back. I don't know. I would have used them to my advantage here. Uh, Aaron Nova, this can't be allowed. Who's gonna un who's gonna understand more how to win at the establishment than DMC, the creator of the establishment? is in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, loser leaves town, which means no more establishment. And he understands the referee's going to give them a lot of latitude. He's already pushed that to the limit, I'd have to think, Sticks. I mean, there can't be any more latitude than that. Never mind that Aaron Nova's from space, but Aaron Nova is in a bad way. Every time Aaron Nova gets in the ring in the establishment, he gets assaulted. We saw it a couple shows ago when he tried to take on Blake Banks and he was hurt. Now DMC calling for the claw. Oh, come on.
come on. DMC used to love to give the people what they want. Now he doesn't care. What is going on? What are we doing here at the establishment? Everybody's angry. They say revenge is a dish best served cold, and it's very cold in space. Can Nova fight back? He's fighting back right now, trying to create that separation. Let's go, Nova. Let's go. Oh, no. And just like that, Nova's down again. DMC is one of these people for whom the game moves slow around him. Everything comes very easy for him. And right now, he knows what Nova's going to do before Nova's going to do it. I don't know if there's any way Nova can come back. We've seen him come back before, but not after a beating like that. I mean, he was just assaulted with a steel chair. And now he's he's telling the referee. He's yeah. telling the referee. I mean, now you got DMC, one of the deadliest men in Florida. Trained by the army, knows how to kill you, literally. Loser leaves town. Come on, Nova. Now uh, you see the back being hurt. Oh, gets caught! Spinebuster! The five star Spinebuster from DMC. DMC found a new gear, and I... That's unnecessary. I can't, I don't even know what to say. I, I used to like DMC. Look at DMC feeding off of the hateful energy from this crowd. Oh, missed the elbow! Let's go! Let's go, Space Boy! This crowd firmly behind Aaron Nova. Aaron Nova on the second rope. Let's go, Nova. Oh, he gets caught with a punch right to the jaw. Oh, nice. Good shot. Nova literally fighting from underneath. Oh, oh, fire with sticks. Wait He's doing it. Are you kidding me? Oh, off the top rope. Oh, my God. Nova not able to follow up. If only he could have sticks. Ah, oh, the pain. You see him crawling on his knees. Loser leaves town, that includes disqualifications and countouts. Well, when you have the best referee in the game, whoever has to indeed leave town will have no excuses. Both men have had a chance to win this thing. They got the best referee going. They got this crowd into it. You know, Lee Campfield ran, ran a 5K today. He ran a 10K tomorrow. What? Okay, we and get then it. 10 miles the day after. We the true Iron Man. It's ridiculous. Out here looking like David Goggins. DMC trying to get his way back to the ring. Both men back in the ring. Nice close line. Aaron Nova. Back elbow just standing there. Doesn't even need momentum. Shoves him off. Hooks him up. Nice! You're a doggy! Make the cover, Nova! Nice! Nice, Shining Wizard. Nova, let's go! He grabs the rope at the absolute. Not even grab, look at the finger! Look at the one finger on the rope! DMC does not use any more energy than he has to. People may not like it, but it's very smart. And we saw a match earlier where somebody exhausted themselves and Ron Bass Jr. to the point where he could not continue. 
M Mikey Spandex one, will his old partner DMC do the same? You gotta wonder now with these, with the attitude change. Oh my God! Oh, he pulled Lee in the middle! Oh no! Lee got caught with a spear! Meant for DMC! We need, we need help out here. We need it right now. Anybody! We need that alien to do the ET finger thing. Yeah, we where, need something where, where, to where, where, where is the alien? All three men in this match are down. Steven, get in there, ref. I know you know how. I am not, tr I am not trying to get hit by DMC. I'll hold your jacket. Get in and there. Right now, DMC, what is he doing? You see, wait a minute, we saw this earlier. Oh! Top of the head! No way! He's out. He's out. He is out. DMC, his new best friend, the steel chair. This isn't about winning a match anymore. This is about trying to end this man's career. This is assault at this point. There's no referee. Just because it's a wrestling ring doesn't mean this should be allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the alien. An ET chant at a wrestling show, ladies and gentlemen. The worst ride at Universal, but we need him now. No. What? Oh, wait a second! No! I know who that is! I know who that is! No! Mission accomplished! No! I know who that is! My God, is. no. Not, 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 not this way. Not, oh no. Stop it. You and I both know who is in that alien contest. You know who that is. Awful. Awful. I hate this. I hate this so much. The rejuvenation of now officially my least favorite tag team in professional wrestling. This should be a happy occasion. No. And somehow, somehow they have spoiled the wet dream. I hate this. I really hate this. Screw you, Task Force. This is the last season of Game of Thrones having a baby with the last episode of Seinfeld. And... And a red-headed stepchild with the Sopranos. Oh, no. Oh, come on! Nova hasn't moved. I don't even know what to say. We still have our main event. I don't even know what to say. Nova's unconscious. I saw two people crying in the crowd. And I think... And look at Lee. This is horrible. You need a tissue. I... Here come the boys. No more Aaron Nova at the establishment. I don't know if. I <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we wait for Aaron Nova to get out of the ring, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell, make sure you get the notifications. The Establishment Wrestling. We are here in Orlando. Damn right, still our captain. Aaron Novo, officially fired from the establishment. Loser leaves town.
come on! Ryan Rock is in the building with Pinkberry. Brian Brock is dangerous. Brian Brock exudes menace. And he's going to need every ounce of whatever he can muster to take on this man coming up. My poor ears. If I didn't have tinnitus, I have it now. I don't know what got it worse, my eyes or my ears. That poor microphone. Those things are expensive. I believe we're getting to see this match at the establishment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real treat. If you are a wrestling fan, NWA World Champion Cahagas is here. Here. In front of us. Ron Bass. intimidating wrestlers I've ever seen but they're not going to be able to intimidate each other I don't imagine and they don't like each other so this is going to be violent I'm here for it Brian I don't know if uh, if that's wise my guy here we go collar elbow tie up Brock and Cahagas Main event, the establishment, glory days of future past. I can't believe we get to call this match. This is good stuff. This is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Styx. He is Steven. This is the establishment. This is crazy. I'm, I'm having a moment right now. Davis on the outside, pink and shiny as always, annoying as ever. Here we go, Cahagas backing him up. Brian Brock now with a knee. Cahagas with a hard chop. Oh, another one. Whip, crack, and another stick. Right on his back, my God! Oh, I've got to protect your back, my guy. Oh, that is how you get hurt. Oh, my God! What did I say? Neither one of them is going to intimidate the other. Shot sticks. for a chop. Shot for a shot. Now in the third row. That's a 
Oh, off the bleachers! This is chaos and I love it. Please, please don't come over here. No. Stay away from the commentary table, please. I haven't paid my health insurance premium. I'm not ready for all that. Jumping Jesus on a promo oh, stick to come this way. No, I'm uncomfortable. I'm really uncomfortable. Yo, Kahig is back in the ring the hard way. Brian Brock steps through the bottom rope. Oh, close line! That is a big man going over the top rope. Oh, no! Brock takes out two chairs. You hear that screeching? Oh my god! This gentleman in the pink, it's the first time I've ever seen him. And by god, I hope it's the last. He's the most annoying man in professional wrestling. I uh, unaffectionately call him Pinkberry because that's what he looks like. Are those hyper-color shorts? Do they you remember are, the hyper-color? Yes, they once are. You, once they hit the dryer, they yeah. never changed no, again. You, you know, you, you wash them with a red rag, and all of a sudden, you got yourself some pink shorts. I think that was an accident. I wouldn't even call it a happy one. Runs in, catches an elbow. Kahag is now standing. Brock not. Kahag is now... Setting him up. Oh my oh god! Oh my goodness. Triangle choking him, bending backwards. On the top rope. Five seconds of hell. That's what Brian Brock just went through. Five seconds too many if you ask me. Brian gets covered. Cahagas now, wait a minute. About to play ring around the manager real quick. Oh, Brock with the boot right to the face. Cahagas wasn't looking. Drops the elbow. The, and a leg. the speed at which these big men move is unbelievable. So it's impressive. So impressive. The speed and agility of men their size. It defies the laws of physics. You don't think guys like that should be able to move like that. Whatever weight they announced Brian Brock at, they lied. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that man is huge, and he's moving like that. And I have never seen the Tokyo Monster put down and hurt like this before. Cahagas is always in control, except for right now against Brian Brock. Brian Brock is a big, angry man. The only time he's not big and angry is when he's at Waffle House. Smothered and covered, baby. Oh, just feels him across just the ring. Pulls him over. Oh, stop with the chops. No more. I'm starting to feel bad in my chest that I'm not doing anything. Nice rear chin lock there, deep, deep in. It's a very interesting chant, but I'm here for it. Kahig is now trying to fight out of this chin lock. Brian Brock using all of his body weight to drive the air and the blood out of Cahagas. Cahagas now ducks the clothesline off the ropes two times. And a crossbody! Both men down, center of the ring. 
Your main event, ladies and gentlemen, glory days of future past, the establishment. We are live, large, and in charge in Orlando, Florida. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Anybody who says size doesn't matter clearly doesn't understand pro wrestling. The Hague is hit him with everything he had and looks worse for the wear just for hitting Brian Brock. And Brian Brock is up first, and he got hit with a crossbody. That, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Brock goes for the boom, misses, gets caught on the top rope. Might have hurt his hamstring there. Cahagas now. Oh, I've seen this before. This is my favorite. The headbutts and the chops. Oh my God, the all out assault. And a complete massacre. Shoves him off, Brian Brock picks him up. Cahagas able to fight out. Whip, reversal, and a kick. Cahagas with a clothesline. What makes Dan Hansen proud? There it is! Cahagas with the win! Ladies and gentlemen, what a match, what a show! Former NWA World Champion with the win, Brian Brock on the outside of the ring. What a night, what a match, what an outcome. There's only one way it could be better. <laughs> What's that? I'm gonna pray for it right now. I'm just gonna pray for it. I'm, I'm just gonna, oh. Oh wait a minute! Oh, this could be this could be your this could be your moment. Oh no! And down goes Steven. My God is an awesome God. <laughs> Prayers come true. Oh, down goes Pinkberry. Never once in my life did I ever think I would call that on a professional wrestling match, but there we are. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't. This is not nice. Is that dog food? Oh no! Elbow to the eyeballs! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's not where that goes. Don't act like it's your first time. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what you do on Saturday nights. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Glory Days of Future Past. Cahagas with the big win in your main event. This is The Establishment. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe us on all social media platforms. Hit that notification button so you know where to be, when to be, and where to be when. With all things The Establishment, his name is Stephen Platinum. I am Styx, and we will catch you kids. On the flip side. You're the best, Sticks. You're the best, baby.